Hi, everyone. When you get a reading, be it mediumship, a psychic intuitive, one, what have you, whatever is said, whatever information given, guidance, etc., is tr holds true in that moment. Remember, as long as you're seeing that someone that's legitimate and authentic and knows what they're talking about. It holds true at the time of the reading. Now, what I mean by that is later that day or the next day, if something happens that changes things, could absolutely happen. If someone that you know or is someone or someone close to you who is involved in the situation, if they decide to make a change or do something that um, that would directly affect you somehow, that can change things. But what I want to talk about is when you get the guidance or what have you from the reading. Now, I can only tell you what I see, what I feel, what I hear. I believe that if I receive the information for you, that I'm supposed to share it with you. And if it's something that is a little more sensitive or delicate, I will say as much. I try to express things as kindly and compassionately as I possibly can. However, there have been times when I've had people come to me saying they want help, but I can't help them. But they prevent me from helping them. Sometimes people will come and they want me to fix it whatever the situation is, it's like, it's like they want me to, to fix it. They don't take in what I'm saying. They don't listen to the guidance. They don't, they just, they just want me to, to fix it. But here's the thing. <laughs> it's not how it works. If you want change, if you want to see things get better, or improve, depending on what your situation is, you have to do the work. Nobody else, you. You have to look in here and stop looking out there. Stop looking to other people, which a lot of people might have, you know, influenced you enough that they, you know, that it's become automatic. You have to start looking in here, in here. And I know us as humans, things are hard enough. We don't want to have to do that. And I, I, I get it. It takes a lot of courage and a lot of bravery to do it. It can be very scary to look in there because without all these other people telling you or, you know, what you should be doing, you should be doing what you want to be doing. Not what someone else tells you. Not what someone else pushes you to. Not, no. It's about you. You have to do the work. You have to look in there. But I think a lot of people, because it is, it's not an easy thing to do. And it can be really scary. I sort of look at it like, um, this is how, a, a, when you do do it, this might be how you, you feel. It's a way to describe it. If you say, remove the, the narcissistic or toxic people from your life. Okay. And you step back and then everything's quiet. You don't have anybody at you. You don't have anybody. It can feel like you're starting over literally removing all that stuff and getting to the root of who you are, who you truly are, your true self. That's where you're going to find the answers. 
looking in here. Not out there, not to anyone else, in here. That's, 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 if you want, that's what you got to do. And unfortunately, as I said, I do sometimes get people that I can't help because they fight me every step of the way. They, they don't, you know, they don't take the guidance or I know they're not hearing me. Um, but they just want it. They just want it fixed. It's, you can't skip the steps. You can't, I can't do that for you. Um, yeah, it's all in that sense. It's all on you. You have to make the choices. You have to make the decisions. You have to do the looking in here. Nobody else can do it for you. I can help. I can guide and I have no issue with, with helping people. But you got to do the work. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.